This video is sponsored by Firestoke and Planet Cube Edge. Planet Cube Edge throws players into a peaceful, cube-shaped world disrupted by an unknown force as you take on the role of Edge, a skilled engineer who has the ability to shoot, jump and dash. Despite being a difficult precision platformer, the game offers plenty of forgiving checkpoints so it can be enjoyed by players of a wide range of skill levels. Turn on the timer and the death counter to see how you are doing and compare your score on the leaderboards. You can get the game on PC, Xbox, PlayStation or the Nintendo Switch with a limited time discount during launch week. Go check out Planet Cube Edge on Steam right now. As a speedrunner, I'm constantly searching for new games to speedrun. Games that look visually pleasing, got interest in mechanics which allows fast-paced movement, and also offers a proper challenge so you always have a reason to come back and attempt to beat your previous record. Now, I absolutely love retro games. I also love the gorgeous visuals developers can do with modern tools these days. Throw in some fast-paced mechanics and combine all these things together. What do you get? A new enjoyable game to speedrun, that's one. Planet Cube Edge is just that. Fast-paced, action-backed platformer where you jump and shoot your way through a variety of enemies. Every level has their own unique mechanic, which definitely brings out the Mega Man feel of this game. For example, on this level, you're using the wind currents of these fans for your advantage, while on this level you're controlling a moving platform to avoid speeding trains. Visually, the game is as pleasing as it can get when it comes to pixel art. Using this green slash blue color palette, which is quite the throwback for some older games. I personally love it. Tons of details on every stage and the animations are top-notch. Oh, and the dialogue is quite funny too. Make sure you don't skip those, unless you're already speedrunning the game. On your journey, you'll also find collectibles which are usually slightly hidden or behind a puzzle you have to solve. By collecting these pieces, you'll unlock artwork, animations, audio and video pieces, which you can view from the main menu. As for the difficulty, the game calls itself as a difficult precision platformer, which is fairly accurate. You're going to die a lot, but thankfully that's not a problem. In fact, it works as an encouragement to push through these stages with a lesser death count. Of course, you do have unlimited lives and super generous checkpoints, so figuring out a puzzle or getting past a tough section ain't gonna be too much of a hassle. Just make sure you put the death counter and the level timer on from the options menu. Now, if the challenge ain't quite what you're looking for after finishing the game once, you'll unlock two additional difficulty settings which will limit your checkpoints. But hey, wouldn't be much of a platformer without some intense boss fights. These fights can be pretty hard, but once you get used to the mechanics and the general movement of the character, you'll be taking down these bosses in no time. So if you're looking for a new speed game, or just a fun, challenging platformer to play, Definitely check out Planet Cube Edge. Link down in the description. Thank you for watching. Okay, nice. Got him. Finally found the last one.